Today I'm going to be showing how to perform ABS bleeding on Toyota using a scan tool. There are many scanners out there that can do this, but I'm going to be using the X2 A30M today. You want to bleed your ABS module of air if you've worked on it or replaced it. Toyota's ABS bleeding is a bit complicated and usually requires two people to carry it out. However, I'm going to be doing this alone. I'm doing this on the 2013 to 2018 RAV4, but this is going to apply to many other Toyota models and years except for hybrids. The other good thing is that the tool is going to guide you through the whole process. Now let's get this. Just to state that there's no need bleeding an ABS module as part of routine brake bleeding if you haven't worked on the ABS. The first thing I like to do before bleeding brakes or the ABS module is to remove as much old fluid as possible. Here I'm using a Toki Basta to remove the old fluid. For new fluid, this car is dot 3 and I'm using this one from Prestone. It's good practice to always use what's stated on the cover of the brake fluid reservoir and it's okay to fill it past the max line since you're going to be bleeding fluid. The other thing is that throughout the procedure you're going to have to ensure that the brake fluid reservoir doesn't go below the minimum line. In terms of the volume you're going to need, two small cans should be enough. These crow foot wrenches are always good and helps ensure that you don't strip the bleeder knot. The bleeder knot is 8 millimeters. My receptacle is just a plastic bottle to which I've drilled two holes on the cover. One of it is for the 8 millimeter bleeder tube and the other is just a vent. I'm not going to be removing Moving the tires and for this car I won't need to jack it up either however if space is tight on yours you can jack up the car and place it on jack stands and so with the A30M plugged in I select special functions ABS bleeding and then Toyota basically go ahead to select your model and then go into the second listing of special functions and select air bleeding welcome to the air bleeder utility this function is used to purge air from the hydraulic braking system at this point I should state that this whole procedure has four phases which the tool is going to walk us through and for Toyota is a combination of some automated phases where the scan tool is going to do the work for you while for two other phases you would have to do some manual work. It doesn't matter if you're using a tech stream or a snap-on scanner this is how Toyota has designed this procedure and every capable scanner is going to follow these same four steps. And so the first phase is this increase line phase where you're basically going to have to do this procedure procedure across each of the wheels in that order. You pump the brake several times, have it depressed and since this is a one man bleed, here I'm using the case of my top wrench against the driver seat to ensure that the pedal stays depressed. And then starting at the front right wheel with your tubing attached, you go ahead to open the bleeder valve, allow the brake fluid to escape. Once brake fluid stops coming out, you tighten the bleeder valve and then release the brake pedal. And basically you would have to go through this cycle a couple of times until you stop seeing air bubbles. For me by the second time of doing this there were no more air bubbles and then I went ahead to repeat the procedure at the front left, the rear right and then lastly the rear left and then we click continue and that moves us into the second phase which is the inhalation line and for this you'll only be concerned with the front right and the right rear brakes and just a reminder here to remember to top up your brake fluid reservoir the important thing here is that the tool is going to run the ABS pump and there's no need for you to step on the brake for this phase I'll just click continue each cycle of this is going to run for about four seconds click continue And similarly, you can repeat this procedure on the wheel until you don't see any air coming out from the brake lines. Then you can click yes and go ahead to repeat this procedure at the rear right. And once you're done from there, you click no to move on to the third phase, which is called the decrease line. I'll click continue and it says connect the tube to either bleeder valve and loosen it. I'll do just that and then click continue. Next, you'd have to depress the brake pedal for this phase while the tool activates the ABS pump for four seconds. And so again, I use the case of my torque wrench to keep the brake pedal depressed. I'll just click continue, click continue. 
once done, tighten the bleeder screw and then release the brake pedal, ensuring that you allow the on-screen timer to come to zero. Similarly, you can repeat this process at the wheel before going ahead to the other wheels as recommended by the tool. Once you click no, we're now at the final phase which is a repetition of the increase line phase. And just for recap, you pump the brake severally, hold it down, loosen the bleeder valve, allow the fluid to come out, close the valve and then repeat this process until you don't see any air. And remember you have to go from the front right to the front left, the rear right and then the rear left last. This is not the most fun ABS bleeding that I've done. The one on Honda is much more exciting as the tool does all the work for you and you don't need to pump or depress the brake pedal at any point. Links to everything I've used is in the description below. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!